crush me with your nerd thoughts Crush me with your nerd thoughts Crush me with all of your nerd thoughts Oh boy. I heard. Well, it just keeps going. Oh, yeah. Like these thighs. Oh, yeah, yeah, just like these thighs. All right, welcome back, everyone. Uh, all right, we are um back for our hour two of the extra credit block. And, uh, which is your thighs. Ooh. Yeah. Um joining us in the call is uh Chai Tea Latte. Uh it says positive stress is that's incorrect. He will not be um no, so just to be clear, uh we have Dijon, Dr. A, Chai Tea Latte, Lesbiathan, and uh Tuttle. Turtle. Tuttle. That's so true. That's yeah, that's right. Uh first off though, um I want us to I want to to stay true to what I promised, uh, the Lesbiathan will be reading Sonnet 1 from the Geek Sonnets, yeah. a little taste from our video game poetry document yeah, later. Right. Uh, real quick, though, uh, about the Digimon cards, uh, I'm probably going to draw on them. They will not be valuable, and I'll probably write you a nice little note uh, if you get them. Okay, uh, and hold on, we are having stream. Okay, Sonnet 1. <sighs> What defines the pure substance of a geek? Is he meek and mild and bespectacled? Or is he made of something more deep? Something beautiful, yet less tangible? A mind, ga of, a mind of games and FAQs and TV quotes? It means a sort of technological bliss. Man, this sucks. Um, whereupon a character he dotes, inviting the WoW geeks to miss, not miss this, but see, but here, see, I've, oh boy, I've gone and done it again. <laughs> Reduce my muse to simple artifice. I've had geek upon geek as my friend. De define them, impossible tis. Fucking shoot me in the sun. Oh, geek, you are truly a mystery. Yet I am proud to have you within me. Great. Great, I'm done. Let's read about anything but this. Please. <laughs> Great. Thank you. All right. Um, all right. And, uh, well, first off, I'm uh, going to throw this out here for you all. Ah! Uh, and second, uh, I am going to introduce another very, very cool uh, little, little incentive for you all. Uh, Dijon Dujour has crafted a paper craft werewolf lawyer. Uh, it's a l lovely little, it's a lovely little thing. I think the picture, I hope the picture, uh, that's going to be a, uh, hundred dollars, uh, which coincidentally, that poem that we just heard, uh, the Lesbiathan read, well, we'll make her read part two if, hey, uh, no, we get a hundred dollars in the next hour. Yes. So let me just set that up real quick. And I actually got the other doc. Actually, no. <sighs> All right. All right. I am going to turn a second because I really want. Uh... Oh, uh, the Digimon cards are gone anyway. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, and. <clears throat> And I'm gonna. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lemon warned me that our uh, our little thing here will not necessarily show anything if it's put up. So <laughs> turn things off real quick so that we have. Uh... There it is. Papercraft werewolf lawyer. Uh, that is Lemon's typing. Oh. Uh, all right. Let us go ahead and get started here on the nerd thighs while we that yeah. done. 
Uh, okay, so let's start out here. We, I think we're familiar. Uh, the Secret Agent 69 has compiled a whole bunch of Nerd Thighs stories. Um, first from Urban Dictionary, though. Uh, Lesbiathan, will you please explain to us how the, to define Nerd Thighs? Yes, of course. Nerd Thighs? Nerd Thighs are the thighs of a nerdy man. They are pale, hairless, and smooth. They look like... <laughs> Mm. They look like feta cheese. Oh, they taste just... and s- they taste and smell like <laughs> uh. <laughs> And we've got a winner for both uh, Dijon's lovely, lovely, lovely werewolf and uh, the Geek Sonics Part Two. Oh, but really? keep going, Julia. Fuck you guys. Uh, they taste and smell like vanilla. Nerd thighs cannot burn or tan. They're just white. Mm. They are muscular, and nerds often will sh- <laughs> They will often strangle people's necks using their thighs. Nerds have killed people using their thighs. <clears throat> uh, go again. C- citation needed. Uh-uh. Well, did you see Paul's bruised neck? A nerd tried to strangle him <laughs> with his nerd thighs. Yeah, that's, that's by, the example sentence. By piece of fucking shit. Dated since September the 4th. 2017. All right. Let's start off with a story here. Hey, Dr. A. Uh, yeah. Uh, will you please read A Nerd's Obedient Pet? Yep, A Nerd's Obedient Pet. Here's my new fancy to add to your spank bank. Yeah. Spank bank. My owner, an effeminate nerdy man, approaches me. <sighs> <sighs> he tells me I've been a naughty dog. No, that's fine. I'm just tired. <laughs> he tells me I've been a naughty dog for peeing in the house, and I must be punished. Will I get pinched by a prong collar? Shocked by a shock collar? <gasps> Bonked with a bonker? <laughs> Bonked with the bonker. What do you do with the bonker? <laughs> what will happen to me? The mer- nerd commands me to get on my hands and knees. I do so, feeling my kneecaps dig into the hardwood floor. He makes me walk on my hands and knees all day, and I was finally getting a break. I need to train you a new trick, puppy. The nerd smiles, coming towards me. Your new command is neck. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Uh Uh-huh. When I say that word, you will put your neck between my thighs. As as your reward, I will strangle you. (laughs) Oh, Oh, come on. You want to start with a clicker toy. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. Oh, cool. I felt my dick getting hard as he said that. Uh-huh. He shipped naked, and I also shipped naked. <laughs> okay. He commanded me, suck, fuck, and lick. I eagerly did all these things, excited to try out my new command. I sat down and looked at my owner, the nerd, as he opened his eyes and stood above over me. Neck! He commanded loudly. I shoved my neck into his thighs. Mm-hmm. I am loyal to him. I am an obedient pet. I will ab- obey his every command. Well, not for long. I'm his will... little bunny rabbit. Does he call I you that? Know. No, stop it. Try. No, no I'm his I... dog. Yeah. Have yeah. you been listening? <laughs> I will eat and drink on off the floor in a dog bowl. I will sleep in a dog bed. I will oh pee and God. poop in the yard. I will retrieve and take you leash will? walk. Uh. But most of all, I will obey my new favorite command. Neck. Neck. The nerd teased me yeah. as he starts squeezing and then releases. He's very sadistic. He is my dom, after all. Well, uh, yeah. Okay. (laughs) I know. 
Then he sees I'm getting frustrated and stops squeezing all together. The ultimate tease. Right as I'm about to cry. <laughs> He then squeezes as hard as he could and doesn't release. I feel myself getting lightheaded as I lose air supply. Oxygen is not getting to my brain. I start feeling dizzy and have a feeling like I'll pass out. I want to get strangled. I really do. However, I still, by instinct, attempt to breathe and pry my owner off me. He doesn't give in and continues to strangle me until I die. Right. <laughs> Great. I wish I could die right now. I was his dog. I definitely still wrote the post, though, so you can <laughs> yeah. work out that one on your own time. The creepy pasta, duh. Yeah. I was his dog, and he was my owner. I served him and loved him with all my heart. And in return, he gave me all I could have wanted in life. Death from nerd thigh strangulation. All you could have wanted. Hmm. He wow. like just barely taught this trick. And he's <laughs> like already killed his, his dog. Yeah, so he has to get a new one. <laughs> Look, Is anyone else uh, imagining the angry video game nerd and the nostalgia critic? No, oh, now I am though. Thanks. Yes, I <laughs> Always. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Chai. Oh, you want me to skip over this one called Roaches in My Ass? For yeah, we're reason? going to skip over Roaches in My Ass, <laughs> because my ass I would ass. rather you uh, explain to us this fun theory about how... I will never how, forget um, that night. <laughs> this fun theory that you have about how nerd thigh meat can cure COVID-19? Oh, yeah. So, I have a theory. Nerds have a cure for the new virus. Anyway, I'm over it. I think it's in the nerds' thigh meat. <laughs> if we get their thighs and cut them off huh. and cook them and eat mm -hmm. them, obviously, mm -hmm. we will be cured of new virus. What was it they famously said? The barbecue tents are not yet full. <laughs> we get syringes and uh, suck the juices out of the... Th gross. I'm gross. sorry to... Yeah, that... Uh. If we okay. suck the juices out of the thighs, we'll have a new vac. <laughs> uh -huh. We'll have a new vaccine to inject into healthy people to prevent right. infection, awesome. which is what a vaccine does, but not. Think about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I oh, yeah. have yeah. been stalking. I'm thinking about it. I have been stalking a nerd at Denny's for weeks because I think he holds Denny's. the cure. Anthony Fauci likes Denny's. What do you want? <laughs> All we have to do is eat nerd thighs with buffalo sauce. Get a bunch of nerds. Have them sign an informed consent for <laughs> <laughs> So they can... It's, the ethical questions are quite interesting, but <laughs> it, we put the nerds under anesthesia, we cut off their thighs, and we eat the meat. Now, what happened to sucking the juices out of the thighs with the I mean, I'm pretty sure that this is what it America's sounds like the plan has some holes. <laughs> I just like the idea of going something with like, hey, we want to harvest your thighs. Are you cool with that? And we're like, yeah, you know, that's cool, whatever. Just this guy just somehow keeps calling up the yeah, media in Gray's line of the legs. CDC <laughs> saying this. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> I hate this. This um, uh, Hey, toxic. Dijon. Yeah? Uh, it seems that you haven't ended this subject. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh nope. My God. Oh, oh my no God. <laughs> because I I tried convincing a nerd to give me the cure for COVID-19. Wow. This, uh, did you spell the same person? <laughs> also known as the new virus. I oh, saw a nerd at Denny's today. I lived at Denny's. <laughs> I constantly go there to fight the chef. And I thought he had a nice set of hairless thighs. So I approached him and asked him for his number. He said no. Oh.
Thank you. And he Bye. called my manager. <laughs> well, I'll just order some thighs over my hammy. <laughs> Routes. He said no, and that he thinks I'm a pervert, and he wants me to Correct. fuck off. Correct opinion. I decided to slap his ass. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You, you think I'm a pervert? You think I'm a pervert? Well, let me show you. Wango. <laughs> Will a pervert do this? So he grabbed me by the shirt and threatened to wrap his thighs around my neck and strangle me to death <laughs> using his thighs. Right. It was floating at the moment. I told him I thought that sounded hot. Oh. <laughs> but that in exchange, I would need a cure for the coronavirus. <laughs> 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 he asked me what the fuck I was talking about, and I told him, I want to cut the flesh off your thighs and eat it because I think it'll cure the coronavirus. <laughs> uh. He threatened to call the police if I wouldn't stop harassing him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus I, Christ. I mentioned this to my amputee housemate. Oh. I cut off both his arms this for taking the, the pornograph. This is quite the fiction you're building. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, it's, it's, just, it's uh, a very specific picture. That's a very specific kind of guy. Oh, yeah. Wow. Jock forearms cure swine flu. <laughs> Fuck you, uh, he called me an asshole. And he said, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Yeah, so true. My housemate is Jigsaw. <laughs> <laughs> play stupid then he games. Told me, then he told me I gave off a lot of red flags. That's why the no. nurse agreed to give me his thigh meat. Oh. No. Yeah. You don't have any red flags, nurse thigh guy. <laughs> I told him I don't have any red flags. And I accuse him of gaslighting and projecting. The Great. end. Cool guy. Cool guy we've discovered. Really cool yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool. Uh, here, here comes an even cooler story. So, uh, come to inside a drop of toilet. Illegal. Oh, come inside. Uh, yeah, come to inside. Uh, today I was at the mall. I had to get a few errands done in there. When I was finished shopping, I decided to go to the court and when i went there there was a wallet li laying on the ground i looked around and no one was looking at me so i picked it up i opened it up and there was an id inside and the person on the id card looked like a nerd no. so oh, shell wow. you like noted the address on the id obviously right and then well i mean <laughs> The name of the story is come inside and drop <laughs> He had brown down. hair, glasses, and acne. Smiley. Okay, well, not imagining Bernard from Day of the Tentacle. Why I, are you doing I slipped, I slipped the wallet into my pocket and went to the bathroom. I then began uh, beating my meat, and when I came, oh. I came inside of the wallet. I then will close the wallet, and some of my cum came oh, no. seeping out. I then bought. I then brought the wallet and gave it to mall security. So if the nerdy, nerdy owner comes looking for it, he'll get his wallet back. Hopefully, the cum will still be fresh for him when he gets it back. If not, he'll still have dried cum oh. from there. Um, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> so <laughs> would giving the cum dripping wallet to the oh, security guard be praxis or? He's not real. <laughs> Come on. God. Oh my god. Uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna take this opportunity right now since we. Oh. Dijon's really cool thing. Uh, chai tea latte also has a really cool incentive that I would like to, to uh, explain here. Uh, chai tea latte, who uh, is a um, uh, who does uh, hobbyist pottery, uh, has agreed to make some ceramic tiles in honor of Garbage Day. Uh, do you want to explain that a little bit more? Yeah, bit absolutely. More so I'm happy to make a some kind of F plus inspired um, clay tile, which will be pretty. Like I have these appliques, I have glazes. I'm going to do like a, um, a big firing in my backyard. It's exciting, but some quote, some kind of thing that you like, I will stamp it into the tile. I will make the tile. I will expose the tile to 1600 degrees Celsius of heat. And then I will send it to you. Um, 
that can have like traditional like homey decor it can be a couple different sizes if you have like kitchen tiles i can make something that will fit in your kitchen tiles thanks yeah yeah no it's a, it's really it's a really nice little prize there and i'll i'll just leave that up for the rest of the evening and uh so if anybody comes in and is and wants and, and wants one well it'll be there thanks chai all uh, right. Next up, hey, uh, Tuttle. Hi, Chell. Uh, what do you do late at night? Uh, oh I God. stay up late at night, jerking off to the thought oh of a nerdy God. man strangling me with his feta cheese thighs. Ooh, oh, feta my cheese! Oh, oh my fucking God! I can't fall asleep right. unless I jerk off to nerds. Like, oh, if I try, God. I'll just lay awake, restless, sweating profusely. Oh, In order God. to relieve my tension, I pull out my dick and fantasize about nerdy men wrapping their thighs around my skinny little neck and crushing my larynx. <laughs> uh. Only after I've come can I fall asleep. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> my blankets are actually covered in cum crust due to me never washing my blankets. And I oh, always God. turn off my lamp and fall asleep. Right after I come all over my bed. Okay. I didn't think that nerd thighs would make me feel this physically sick. Okay, uh, thank you for that, uh, Tuttle. Oh, now would you please explain to us how uh, this post, the nerd neighbor that I spied on ended up coming to my house and strangling me. Oh, sure. So oh, I was what? sitting home, minding my own business in my cum crusted blankets <laughs> uh-huh and and the nerd fucking jumped through my window what do you want like me to do ninja. wash him <laughs> i was shaking as he approached me he looked glorious <laughs> he was wearing suspenders a bow tie and short shorts oh my <laughs> then, he the grabbed... <laughs> then he grabbed my neck and shoved it between his thighs. He strangled me for a solid ten minutes before I died. <laughs> Jesus! I do that! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Before that, I could get tiny bits of air in, and each time I breathed in, it made a whistling sound. <laughs> <laughs> before I died, I felt the greatest euphoria, and then my vision went blurry. It felt like I was in a state of heavenly bliss. Mm. Mm. When I died, Lawrence called the police. Wait, who's Lawrence? Lawrence. Everyone knows Lawrence. The... Lawrence. The nerd noticed Lawrence. I'm afraid <laughs> Lawrence. The nerd noticed Lawrence and jumped out the window. Lawrence came over and began performing CPR. The ambulance arrived and took me to the hospital hospital and defibrillated my heart. I ended up surviving and I've been resting in the hospital. So unlike the previous story, uh, there's actually an explanation for how he is posting it. I have some some beautiful bruises on my neck, and my neck is throbbing. They actually ask like in the ambulance if you have a fetish story on the go or not. They'll post it for you. <laughs> yeah. You just need a USB. It's great. Funny uh, tile. Uh, edit. I uh, forgot to add that the nerdy neighbor is now in jail. I'm gonna bail him out and even try awesome. to erase the murder off his record. Awesome. Great. You're cool. Aww. Thank you. How nice. You're gonna do that as a ghost. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Lesbiathan. Yeah, what's up? Uh, erotic transference for your, for my nerd, for your, my nerd therapist? Yeah, great. I have a nerdy therapist. Glasses. Rose acne, uh, acne. Don't care. Okay. hair. Cheesy smell. Suspenders. Bow tie. Adult braces. Total hunk. And I keep yes. fantasizing about him. I find that he consumes almost all of my thoughts, and I have, I have wet dreams. 
I fantasize about being in his office and him locking the door with the key so that I can escape. <laughs> <laughs> then he grabs me by my neck and shoves my neck between him. His what? His neck between his cream cheese thighs. His cream cheese. <laughs> I, these uh-huh. thighs are just becoming all kinds of cheese. Yeah. yeah. That's why he smells cheesy, Shell. Then he begins- his mascarpone thighs. <laughs> Then he begins choking me using his thighs and ends up killing me. I don't even know if therapy will work for me during each <laughs> session. Yeah. Well, not if this is what you expect from it. Uh. During each session, this is all I think about, and I can't open up properly. Should I bring this up to him? I think so. Just going in for a normal therapy session. It's like, okay, so like, what would you like to discuss today? It's like, well, you know, my neck has just been like super not crushed recently. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> mm-hmm. How does that make you feel? Horny. <laughs> oh, I just feel okay, like I'm I'll write just that down. Sticking, sticking my neck out for so many people and nobody's biting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a vortype. <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, Chai. Oh, yes, I have an announcement. Ooh, what's the your term Nerd Thighs was searched 100 times in the month of May in 2007. Mm. Uh, trends.google.com slash words. Uh, <laughs> why May 2007? And when I search for Nerd Thighs specific to May 2007, Nothing comes up. <laughs> More link words. Even weirder, nerd thighs weren't searched again until summer of 2008. You must have been and very that's busy the year that, that time. That's the year that nerd side posts started popping up on the internet on Yahoo Answers. I know because I had just lost my job in a coincidence. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What caused people to search for nerd size in May 2007 100 times and then not search for it again for a whole year? I hope they were in jail. Why? Why did people search for nerd size at such a high rate, even though there weren't any posts about them at the time? Because they wanted there to be posts about them. Uh. It says, why did people, but... Yeah. It was actually just nerd thigh Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> I, black, I black out a lot, you know. I I I may have done them. Uh, yeah, cool. Hey Dijon. Yeah. What do you want? Well, what I want <laughs> is I want to live inside a nerdy man's ass. Yeah. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, let me dumb it down for you. But I get it. Yes. I mean a nerd. Oh, thank you so much. That was I, so difficult. Ass, I mean ass. You're stereotypical nerdy man who wears bow ties <laughs> and suspenders. Has his greasy brown hair parted to one side. Has acne and rosacea. Has either buck teeth or adult braces. Not, not both. And wears black horn rimmed uh, glasses. Yeah! I want to have him kneel on the floor and spread his ass cheeks. No! Then I will shove my head inside his ass cheeks. Oh my god. I will survive purely with his ass. Instead of water, I'll drink his ass juice. Oh, fuck. Of, Isn't that just of acid? Food, instead of food, I'll eat his feces. I'll breathe in his ass oxygen. You know the I ass, just, the place that famously has oxygen. Yeah. Why is this content yeah, so difficult in this... ways I didn't expect? <laughs> this research is being funded by the Department of Defense. The best part, you know what the be- you know what the best part of that is? I don't you know, what's the best part. All of this has been great up till now, but the best part, when my head is in his ass, 
since his balls are near his ass, no, I'll uh-huh. get to be able to also smell his balls. <gasps> and in case you didn't know, probably didn't. <laughs> his balls smell like tuna fish. Awesome. Ooh, <laughs> I didn't know that. And <laughs> cheese. This person yeah. is gross. Like well, if you smell it all over, it just smells like a tuna melt. Dinner, 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 dinner. <laughs> we got one that wasn't cheese, so. <sighs> so gross. Oh, good, good, That's good. So okay. <clears throat> I have a story. I have a story for all of you. It's a, it, yeah. hits, uh, it, it hits close to home. Oh, my uh-huh. God. Uh, this is uh, the story of the, the Oregon strangulation case. <laughs> oh. oh, I love true crime podcast. In uh, 2014, in a small town in Oregon, a 17-year-old boy was found dead in his car. The coroner concluded, based on the bruises of, on the victim's neck, that he'd been strangled by a, quote, set of thighs, unquote. A witness said she last saw the victim alive at Denny's, hanging out with three nerds who looked like they came from the, quote, local chess club, unquote. I... Apparently, they were wearing glasses, suspenders, had adult braces, and had rosacea and acne. They were also supposedly pale, pale-skinned, and scrawny. My favorite murder. <laughs> now, here's why I think they're hot. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> uh, Dr. A. Wait, yep. Hmm. I got strangled by nerd thighs at the beach? <laughs> YouTube thumbnail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got strangled by nerd thighs at the beach. Parentheses gone wrong. Parentheses gone sexual. <laughs> <laughs> so I went. So, so I went to the beach because, well, it's summer. Fair enough. I wanted to enjoy white sand and the sound of the ocean. So I found a nerd sunbathing. Oh. Parts of his body were tanned, except his thighs. His thighs didn't tan or sunburn. It was the weirdest shit. It defied all Anyway, I kicked sand in his face and told him to buy lifting manuals from the Atlas Corporation. (laughs) (laughs) So I laid my towel besides his. I felt... (laughs) I felt my boner coming on as I laid... Next to the nerd. <laughs> and I kept starting at his thighs, and he didn't even notice. I remember what uh, you slash super nerdy boy yeah, said about boy. feta cheese. And I, decided to, <laughs> and I decided to try to taste his thighs. Huh? I wanted to know whether it would taste like vanilla or feta cheese. <laughs> yeah, one or the other. Anyways, I licked the nerd's thighs. It tasted like a mix of feta cheese and vanilla, which ew, that sounds gross. But... <laughs> oh, it's both. Bad. The nerd looked at me and became furious, which, fair oh, enough. Shit. Like, imagine, you just like, I'm gonna have a nice day at the beach, I'm just gonna lay down. Oh, fuck, this person's just laying this shit next to me, god damn it. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna relax, and oh my fucking god, are they licking me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I began begging for mercy. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no, I'm sorry, I, he jumped up, grabbed my neck, and shoved it in between his thighs. There I began begging for mercy. Yeah, there you go. There they are. Thank you. <laughs> Bystanders began screaming and flipping out and calling the police. I, I felt my face turning hot as I tried to gasp for air. I felt bruising form on my neck. The cops arrived and they got boners and cum stains. <laughs> oh my god. No, I, I think they might have had some of those before. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, grab these from the trunk. 
<laughs> they were too afraid of this glorious nerd to step in and tear him off of me. And I noticed, and I think they noticed my boner, realizing this was consensual. No, it's not. You described a non-consensual interaction, my guy. Yeah, but I passed out on the ground and woke up in the hospital. The doctor said I went to cardiac arrest and lost consciousness. Agony! I was rushed to the ER and really lived. Really? I'm just spending a little while resting. I almost died the other day. If not from the nerd dies, then from the cardiac arrest. I got very lucky. Did you? I th- in, yeah. in, in, in other stories I've heard of that are similar to this, so may- maybe yours is different, but in other stories I've heard that are similar to this, mm-hmm. it was lucky for the people to, to, like, have been actually killed. Yeah. Yeah. So, now I'm confused. Seems like you failed. Uh, Lesbiathan. Yeah, what's up? A nerd strangled me, dumped me in the woods, and ruined my life! That sounded like a you problem, dog. Um, <laughs> all right, so I was drinking at a gay bar and I sat down with a sexy nerd. He yeah. Had, he had, you'll never guess what kind of glasses he had. He had black uh, horn rimmed glasses, suspenders, and looked like he came from the local chess club. Oh my bad. god. His, his, his pockets were full of knights. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was the gay bar Denny's? <laughs> he had a book? He had a book with him. I asked him what he was reading, and he said he was reading some book about Python. I got up to go to the bathroom, and that's when I left my drink alone. I came back and what? finished my drink. Next thing I know, I'm in a dim room on a bed. Oh They're no, asking- he slipped you some feta cheese. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> there are some action figures on a bookshelf across the room. The rest of the bookshelf is filled with science, math, and computer books. To the left of the room is a big desk with two computers, a Windows laptop, and an iMac. Huh? Oh my fucking god. The, there's another bookshelf to the right of the room and it's filled with bio- Oh my <laughs> god! This is really hot. Uh, I heard the door open and, and looked he, up. He's also uh, a go-goat. Hyperventilating. The nerd was butt naked, ready to have his way with me. <laughs> <laughs> he forced me on, his, on my stomach and handcuffed my hands behind my back. Then he flipped me over again and shoved his dick in my mouth. I will strangle you, he said. Don't say a single word or I will shove this back in your mouth. He took his dick out of my mouth. Yep, yep, that's a red flag. Uh, then he sat me on my <laughs> knees on the ground and bent my neck forward. He wrapped his creamy, white, hairless thighs around my neck and strangled yeah! me. I hate this. Why did you make me read this? <laughs> that's I why. His, I felt his balls on the back. Sorry. I felt his balls on the back of my neck and he strangled me and his stick was laying on my head. I was really turned on if you can believe that. Beast whale. Jesus Christ. I woke the next morning in the woods. I was like, holy shit, that nerd dumped me here thinking I died. I could have I could have been far in the woods. How the unprofessional. I mean double <laughs> yeah. check. At least buy me some breakfast, man. I tried to get up, but I couldn't move my legs. I literally couldn't move my legs at all. Did I tell you that I couldn't move my legs? Uh, could you, you even move try- your legs? No, I couldn't. Literally. Oh, sh- oh, shit. He didn't even try to move me, my back or my neck, because I know what can happen if you try that. You can injure your spine further. Oh, shit. Dark turn. Uh, I began screaming. I doubt anyone would hear me. I kept yelling and screaming for help. I didn't even have my cell phone on me. A dog ran up to me. He looked like a mix of a golden retriever and possibly a husky. It was cute. <laughs> really, dog? I heard the owner calling the dog's name, and he okay. found me laying there. He told me his dog had run off and found me. No shit? Great. The guy didn't even hear me yelling. I told him I think I was paralyzed because I couldn't feel or move my legs. By the way, I couldn't feel or move my legs. <laughs> <laughs> he called an ambulance, and they put me put something around my neck. Because you broke your tibia fibula fever. <laughs> <laughs> some pelvis. Yeah, they put me on a gurney. I rode to the hospital. I went to the hospital. They said I had paraplegia and it's permanent. Oh. I have a full, I have full function of my torso and arms, but I don't have function of anything below my waist. I have paraplegia and it's permanent. Fuck. Eee. 
I stayed overnight at the hospital. <laughs> just overnight? Yeah. They let me go home in the morning. It's just paraplegia. I couldn't have oh, yeah. nothing functioned below my waist. I can still use the Well, boy, with these way. beds and this crowding, I tell you. <laughs> a nerd has to, a nerd knows how to how to make a clean cut. Yeah. Oh. Precision thighs. Uh I just have to share this story. I'm a wheelchair user now and probably will have to go to a nursing home. Fantastic. All right. Um, why do you have Fantastic. to go to a nursing home? Because, well, okay, well, I have to go to a nursing home because I have paraplegia and it's permanent. I have full function in my torso. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. There is mm-hmm. one more section to this document than just nerd thy stories. <gasps> and that's that, 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 that is, um, that is uh, some segments that Gagent included from Yahoo Answers. Ooh. R. D. Uh, Chai Tea Latte. Hi, I'm Kai, and I'm asking, why am I scared of nerds? Every time a nerd is around me in school, I always hear the wheezy breathing, no matter how far apart they are in the seats, and it disturbs me. I would normally not care, but ever since a nerd in our school squeezed a guy's head with his thighs in a fight, I've been absolutely scared. You know how most nerds have abnormally thick and fat legs that don't match their bodies? Is that finally, yeah. finally why I like this? <laughs> they're, all, they're all built like Pixar moms. <laughs> okay, I'm convinced. <laughs> Just three days ago, I saw a nerd banging on his locker in the gym and cussing at himself for some reason. I didn't dare look further. How do I get over this fear? Update, I asked for advice. Not trolling. Oh no, how could you people have possibly trolled you? Dijon? No, I think people accused me of of trolling. Well, that's also possible. Uh, Dijon, you're ghosty. I'm Ghosty. I was killed by a nerd years ago. One decade ago, specifically. And I was only level seven when I died. Oh. Oh. But- You've come up <laughs> with a few sweeping stereotypical generalizations there. Uh-huh. Wheezy breathing, abnormally thick and fat legs. I've heard of racism, but not nerdism. Oh, good. Uh Nerdism. (laughs) And then I linked the Wikipedia page for nerd. You can't overcome a fear like this. Nerds are everywhere. Thank goodness. Nerds rock. I strongly suggest you play the nerd with the quietest breathing and the thinnest legs and the least strangling in your class. Oh, jeez. And see if you can get rid of your nasty nerdism. Yeah, you really, you need, uh, uh, honestly, that's not enough. You need to commit to, you need to commit to anti-nerdism. Be the change you want to see. Yeah, become a jock. Thank God. Uh, hey, Tottle. Uh, I'm sorry, Cookies. You have a question about a question. Yeah, it's really important to me. Uh, I, I've been, I've been doing a lot of research here, and I just can't find it. I need some help. I need to know where does the nerdy thigh strangler live? <laughs> there was a guy that kept asking questions like, "Could a nerdy guy strangle a woman to death with his bare thighs?" on Yahoo Answers, and now I'm thinking of making a horror movie based off of him, and I want an interview. The horror film is going to be about a really creepy nerd that leaps out of treetops naked and latches onto victims with his (laughs) eyes, choking them like a boa constrictor. I'm going to wear a football helmet when I do the interview, just to be safe. Does anyone know where he lives? Well, (laughs) a football helmet's not going to protect your neck very well, is it? I thought he yeah. was wearing it for like an an or whatever. Uh, yeah. I want to know where the 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 nerdy thigh stranger lives, but I don't want him to know where I live. There, I I do really enjoy that. There's 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 just there was just this moment.
moment in Yahoo Answers history. Everybody was like, okay, we all know that someone keeps coming around here posting questions about nerd thighs. Interested. Uh, and, and, and we're so Yahoo, tired of it. And to think Yahoo Answers is, is gone now. Like, now we don't have that. Right. Um, okay, so uh, there is another question here from Yahoo Answers. Uh, from a someone named Frank who asks, why don't people realize God is evil? And it's basically what you expect. It's like, oh, you know, I mean, obviously God exists, but he's like mean and he does stuff and like bad things happen and blah, blah, blah. I bet um, God's eyes don't even taste like vanilla or cheese. That's right. And it's all boring. Uh, but uh, this is the this was the favorite answer to this question. Of the question, uh, why don't people realize God is evil? <clears throat> As of January 1st, 2000, 287 females and 37 males had been the alleged victims of nerd thigh strangulation, commonly abbreviated as NTS. Contrary to the mm. above to the, the above statistics, roughly 22 females and 6 males die each year from nerd thigh strangulation. Nerd thigh strangulation is typically responsible for percent 0.2 of all female deaths. One in ten nerds may possess an instinctual temptation to strangle a female to death with his thighs. Only four out of the ten of ten cases is the nerd responsible is the nerd responsible is arrested. As of 1984 to 1999, a total of 675 females and males have died from nerd thigh strangulation. The primary reason for an increase of cases during that era was possibly due to improper use of the drug Ritalin, combined with a high what? dosage of unlicensed uh, uh, antihistamines. Okay. What? This is, uh, this is the favorite answer to why don't people realize God is evil. Obviously. Yeah. According to statistical data, perpetrators were typically in between the ages of 19 to 36. All those arrested were white males. A vast majority of the victims were asphyxiated due to constriction of the throat. Um, yeah, I guess. Answer your question? No. No, you know, I'm not remember. a mathematician, but I don't think these statistics uh, work out. What do you mean? <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is the favorite answer question. Who must be airtight. Uh, they, they do say that, like, uh, nerd thigh deaths are, like, chronically underreported. So it could be one more than this. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times the victims are just too embarrassed. And also they're ghosts. And also dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, what did we learn this hour? Um... <laughs> nerd thighs. Uh, I learned the Wikipedia penis. link for a nerd. That's oh, cool! Yeah. And uh, well, uh, Julia, could you say that again? Nerd thighs taste like feta cheese and vanilla. Well, sometimes <laughs> they taste, yeah, and they and they look like cream cheese or feta cheese, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to to forget about this reading before I go to the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> Just holding up a package of feta cheese, be like, damn, this is what nerd thighs taste like. I um. I guess I I learned that uh, Positronic is drawing a nerd koala with some damn sexy thighs. Really luscious thighs. Okay, thighs. well, thank you everybody for being here. We're going to be changing a bunch of the readers this hour. Our, uh, our, uh, our incentive was met, so uh, next... Next hour, Lil Asviathan will be, um, will be reading the sonnet two. So, uh, everybody, thank you, Positronic, for the awesome art. Thank you for reading earlier, uh, and uh, we'll some of us will see you uh, when we come back with some <laughs> with the Tao of D and D. No, no. Ugh. <sighs>